We thank you for joining this communion talk. Please note that you can pause this video in between the prayers so you can partake of the emblems. We pray this helps you to reflect as you commune with Christ and his kingdom. Morning Highland. Glad to be with you here on this great and wonderful Lord's Day. Wanted to talk to you a few moments this morning about some thoughts that I've had this week. It's very interesting what we can find in a name. Because today we come together to celebrate Jesus Christ, our Lord, Savior, and King, and the sacrifice that He made for us on the cross, which allows us to have forgiveness of sin. In Matthew chapter 1, 23, the angel said that they will call him Emmanuel. His name would be called Emmanuel. Translated, this means God with us. So one of the first things that I think, thought about this week is very simple, and that is that God took the time to come here with us to be with us to understand us better to live with us and actually teach us the second thought I had this week was the name Lord this comes from the Greek word kurios which means Lord and Master and it's actually listed about 700 times in the New Testament and Paul would even go beyond this and use it in his writings also. If we look at Lord, we see someone who is above us, who takes care of us, but also commands us to do what it is that he wants us to do. The next name that Jesus is called is Logos. And in John, it simply states that Logos, or the Word, was with God in the beginning, and was with God, and was God. And he would later say that he is now here among us in the flesh. So not, not only this week... Do we look at God being with us? But you see that Jesus was there in the beginning with God and is now even with us today in the form of the Holy Spirit. And finally, the title that, I re that is the most important, at least for me, thinking this week, is the Lamb of God. In the Gospel of John... John said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away all sin. And in John 1, 29, the title reaffirmed, the next, or in John 3, 1, 3, 36. What we see is that Jesus came to be a sacrifice for our sin. In Hebrews, it mentions very simply that without the blood of bulls and goats, there could be no forgiveness of sin. What we also see and know is that at the time in which Jesus came into the world, sacrifice, the sacrificial system was in place, but it was flawed. If I sin today, I sacrifice today. If I sin tomorrow, I sacrifice again tomorrow. But what we see is that when Jesus came and sacrificed himself on the cross, our sins were forgiven. And Hebrews would also say that he is continually doing this up in heaven for now. So whether it be you seeing Jesus from being with God, your Lord and Master, telling you what needs to be done 
or, or helping you to get through life, or being the one who controls the seas, telling them to be still. This is the person that we have come today to celebrate. Please pray with me. Father in heaven, Lord, we come before you now. We thank you for the opportunity you've given us to come together to celebrate you. Father, I pray now as we partake of the bread that represents Jesus' body, that we would partake it in a way that is prescribed and is honorable in your sight. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Pray with me, please, now. Father in heaven, again, we come before you. We thank you for the blood that was sacrificed on the cross so many years ago. Father, we know that without the shedding of blood, there can be no sin forgiveness. We are truly thankful that your son Jesus was willing to come to the cross and accept our punishment in our place. As we partake of the cup that represents his blood, Father, I pray you would bless us and strengthen us for the week to come. We pray in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you again for joining us in this communion talk. Be safe and God bless.